So it's been about a month, um, actually a month and two days since I did a video on this uh, Integral SSD and I'd just do an update on how it was performing because some people had said that the performance would degrade over time as I used it more uh, quite quickly they said. Well this is the performance I've just got this now, just now as you can see no other drives are plugged in there there's just that one drive in and uh, 558.8 and 510 read and write now if you compare that to the old scores we got which was 565 and I think 512 um, it's barely gone down at all I've got uh, 28 gigabytes of data on here which isn't that full it's only got 25% full um, so that's the first SSD. I'm going to now plug in the second one that I got to make sure both of them work. So I've just benched the second drive as you can see. Very similar uh, scores to the other drive. This is the different drive you can sort of tell because I've got different programs on this one. So this is the second drive like I've just said scores are almost identical to the scores I got when it was brand new uh, these here is the AS SSD benchmark which is the other benchmark I also ran last time you can see here 531, 420 I mean it scored 288, 178 and 623 now I've got my other video up on the screen here from last time and as you can see, it's, it's scored a little bit lower, but you have to remember that when I did this testing, it was with a hard drive running the OS, so this has now got an operating system installed on it, so it is expected to be a bit slower. It's also got 26 gigabytes of data on this one, um, as you can see. So yeah, it's performed really well. In fact, they're performing so well that I've actually bought another two. So I've got a brand new one today and the next one might come tomorrow or the day after. Now as a, a special treat, as you can see, I, I've been using this Super Flower 1300 watt power supply uh, in the test bench and my main rig for a while. Uh, but unfortunately, I managed to lose some of these PCI Express connectors so I've only been able to do two-way SLI or Crossfire which is terrible because two graphics cards aren't fast enough but this new one has come with all of the cables so I can now run four-way SLI off this PSU or if I plug the cables in from that I suppose I could run six-way SLI or Crossfire so yeah, I've got a new shiny PSU, apart from this was actually off eBay, I got a very good deal on it, they're normally I think £180 and I paid about 120 for this and it's come in the box brand, well pretty much brand new, the guy said he bought it for mining and then didn't use it um, and I do believe him because unless he's taken it apart and cleaned out the inside of it there's no dust whatsoever on the fan or on the inside of it and if you'd been plugging it into four graphics cars and used it for mining you would have thought it'd have a bit in it so it's practically new so I'm very happy with that so I might have some videos of four-way SLI or Crossfire I have got four GTX 580s and four HD 69 50s which I can do four way with so that should be an exciting video to look forward to uh, so I should be doing those pretty soon actually because I don't particularly want four each of those graphics cards they take up a lot of space so anyway that is the sort of one month after use update of these SSDs I probably might do one maybe after a year to see how they perform then um, yeah, that's it really. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.